Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube creative studio. My name is Sonia and uh, today I would like to show you how to crochet this amazing, really beautiful, light and airy shawl. The pattern is absolutely perfect for beginners. They are only basic uh, crochet stitches. I will use trebles, double crochet stitches and chains. With these stitches we will create this nice flower pattern. I absolutely love it. The shawl is made only from one ball, Angora Merino. You will find the link in the box below this video tutorial and there are also pattern notes. And let me remind you that the written pattern is available on my blog. The pattern is for free and there are many more patterns for you. So let's look at this amazing, so soft, so cozy yarn. And I will use up uh, one ball of this yarn. It's a Papatia Angora uh, with merino wool. It's a premium quality yarn. It's uh, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, uh, 550 meters, 600 yards. And it's 80% uh, acrylic and 20% merino wool. I will use three and a half millimeters crochet hook. You will need also some scissors and the tapestry needle and that's it my crochet friends. I will start with a magic ring and the first uh, row we will work in rows will be the middle of the shawl, the middle corner. So now place a uh, chain four, one, two, three, four, which is my first treble. Then yarn over twice and uh, let's make one more treble into the magic ring. This is how we will start each and every row. Now yarn over, yarn over, insert the hook into the magic ring and let's make double crochet. Yarn over twice and make a treble into the magic ring. And one more treble. So yarn over twice and one more treble. So we have two trebles, one double and two trebles in the magic ring. So we have five stitches in the magic ring. Now turn your work and chain four. Chain four is uh, always the beginning of each row. So chain four, which is my first treble, then yarn over twice and place a treble in the second treble we created in the previous row. So at the beginning we always have two trebles and we also have two trebles at the end of each row. Now chain three, one, two, three, and place double crochet into the double crochet. And my shawl is symmetric. So now I will chain three, one, two, three, and again place treble and treble. And one more treble, which will be placed on the top of the fourth chain. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and on the top of the fourth chain, I will place treble. So at the beginning, we have two trebles, at the end, we have two trebles. And this is how you will start and how you will end each and every row. So chain four, one, two, three and four. Yarn over twice and place treble into the treble. 
from the previous row and then chain 3 Now skip one chain, we have chain three, there, one, two, three, so skip one and place double crochet in next two chains. One and two. Then place one double crochet on the top of double crochet we created in the previous row and we have symmetric pattern so now one double crochet in next two chains one and two then chain three we have five five double crochets one two three chains and let's finish the row with two trebles so the first treble is placed on the top of the treble from the previous row and the second one is placed on the uh, fourth chain from the previous row. Now chain four, yarn over twice and let's place a treble on the top of the treble. And then chain three. You will always chain three after two trebles. We have three chains there and again I will skip one and place double crochet in next two chains. One and also in the second chain and then you will work one double crochet in next five stitches okay so we have two at the beginning then five double crochets and we will add two more so in this row you will have nine double crochet stitches in the row okay and fifth and add two more so work one double crochet in next two chains one Two. then chain three and let's finish the row with two trebles amazing and I'm in the middle of this flower pattern I almost finish a flower and in next row I will start uh, working on two flowers in the row okay so chain four I will explain everything step by step and one treble you already know how to start and chain three one two three skip one chain and place a double crochet in the next 
chain so this is the chain in the middle we have three chains so in the second one one double crochet then chain three one two three and skip three stitches so skip one chain and two double crochet stitches okay i count chain as a stitch so skip three stitches and place a double crochet in next five stitches so we have nine you see group of nine double crochet and now i will have a group of five double crochet stitches one two three four and five perfect now chain three one two three and we have to skip three stitches okay so skip two double crochet stitches and one chain and make a double crochet in next chain so this is the chain in the middle chain three and two trebles at the end so here we are and you see we have now one double crochet at the end and one double crochet stitch at the beginning and a group of five double crochets in the middle okay and it means that i will start to create next two flowers <laughs> here and here <laughs> at the beginning and at the end so chain four yarn over twice and place a treble on the top of the treble and then chain three and if you look at the pattern we will repeat row number three so skip one one chain and place one double crochet in next two chains one and two then place double crochet in next double crochet and again a double crochet in next two chains so you will create a group of five double crochet stitches this is it perfect then chain three and we will finish the flower so we have one then five then nine and then five double crochet stitches to create a flower so skip three skip one chain and two double crochet stitches and place a double crochet in the middle of group of five then chain three skip three stitches skip two double crochet stitches and one chain and then place double crochet in next two chains okay and again we will create a group of five double crochet stitches so one then two the third is placed on the top of double crochet then fourth in chain in the first chain and fifth 
in the second chain then chain three one two three and finish the row with two trebles perfect <laughs> This is it. Chain four and place a treble on the top of the treble from the previous row. Then chain three, and you see we finished the first flower. <laughs> And we started two flowers on sides here and this is my first and then you see we have two groups of five double crochet stitches and we will make two groups of nine double crochet stitches in this row so uh, chain three skip one chain and place a double crochet in next two chains one and two and then you will place double crochet in next five stitches in next five double crochets one two three four and five and two more doubles so one double crochet in next two chains to finish a group of nine double crochet stitches Perfect. Then chain three, one, two, three, and skip three stitches. So skip one chain, one double crochet, and one chain, and place a double crochet in next two chains. And you see, we are walking now on the second group of nine double crochet stitches so now place one double crochet in next five stitches two double crochets and finish the row with three chains and two trebles easy <laughs> okay one and the second one treble The pattern is super easy. I'm working on the flower pattern and you see I repeat only three rows. So we have five, nine, five, five, nine and then we will have five and one on the top. Okay. Easy, easy. So chain four. Yarn over twice and one more treble. Then chain three. One, two, three. Skip one chain and place a double crochet in the second chain. So in the middle of chain three and this will be the beginning of my um, flower pattern. Then chain three, 
skip three stitches so skip one chain and two double crochet stitches and now let's place double crochet in next five stitches okay so I chain three skip three stitches and again work one double crochet in next five stitches Then chain three and skip three stitches. So skip two doubles and one chain and place double crochet in the second chain. So it will be again in the middle chain. Okay. It's easy to remember the pattern. Now chain three skip three stitches skip one chain and two double crochets and work one double crochet in next five stitches okay then chain three and skip three stitches so I will skip two double crochets and one chain and work a double crochet in the second chain the chain in the middle double crochet then chain three one two three and place two trebles the end of a row wow you see the new color it's amazing combination of colors I love it so we are about to finish the second row with uh, two flowers okay So each flower consists of a group of five, then nine, and then five double crochet stitches. And we started with one double crochet here and here. So this is it. And I will end up with one double crochet on the top of the flower. And you see, we just prepared three double crochets for three flowers in next now chain four yarn over twice and place a treble on the top of the treble then chain three as always skip one chain and we will create a group of five double crochet stitches you already know it <laughs> so skip one chain and place a double crochet in next two chains one and two then one double crochet on the top of the double crochet and double crochet in the next two chains so we have a group of five double crochet stitches again then chain three this is it skip three stitches so skip a one chain and two double crochet stitches and place double crochet in next chain three and skip three skip two double crochets and one chain and work a double crochet in next two chains one two 
two. Then double crochet on the top of double crochet. One double crochet in next two chains. And this is my second group of five double crochet stitches. One. This is the second one. So we have two, one, two, so it's five. Then chain three, one, two, three, and skip three stitches. Skip one chain and two double crochet, place double crochet into next stitch. Chain three and finish the row. This is it. Look at my pattern. I just started working on the third lovers. You see, one, two, three, in the row. And I just finished the second um, row with flowers there are two flowers in the row and uh, this is it my crochet friends you can very easily repeat these three rows work back and forth start with two trebles then chain three now I place uh, one double crochet in next two chain then one double crochet in next five double crochets and again a double crochet in next two chains so i will have a group of nine double crochet stitches and at the end of this row i will have three groups of nine double crochets groups then chain three skip three and work one double crochet in next two stitches one double crochet in next five stitches and one double crochet in next two chains then chain three skip three stitches and one double crochet in next two then five then two three chains and two trebles here we are <laughs> and you can clearly see finished flowers you see they are amazing they are so cute absolutely love this flower pattern so in next row you will have three groups of five double crochet stitches and you will start to create um, the row with uh, four flowers. <laughs> so this is it my crochet friends. You see? I just finished this part and you see this is very very symmetric. The pattern I repeat I repeat the uh, three rows and uh, the show is uh, growing it will be higher and wider so you can easily repeat this pattern and I will meet you when I finish my ball <laughs> okay so uh, there is also the written pattern available so you can look at it on my blog if uh, you will not be sure how to continue but i think it's a very very simple construction okay so i will meet you in a while so take care and bye bye <laughs>
row I created. Look at the colors. Aren't they amazing? And the shawl is so soft and so light, airy. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's so cozy. I love it. And I will show you how to finish the shawl. It will be super easy. It will be the row with double crochet stitches only. I hope I will be fine with the rest of yarn. I will finish it. So now two trebles at the beginning and then very easily place a double crochet on each stitch. Okay, so now I have three chains. So place one double crochet in each chain. We have three. Then on the top of double crochet And again a double crochet in next three chains. Actually this is row number 60. So you will have 60 rows with uh, this pattern. Okay. It. And then one double crochet in next five. Double crochet stitches and you can continue till the end of a row. We will see how much yarn will left. And yeah. So the row with double crochet stitches, easy, easy. I will meet you at the end of this row in the corner. Here, here I am. <laughs> yeah, so we manage it. Look at the rest of ball. You can use it uh, to create. Uh, some pom-poms or if you like tassels you can make uh, tassels but I will leave my shawl as it is so finish the row with two trebles I used up 550 uh, meters uh, 600 uh, yards so this is it it's my nice beautiful shawl finish so you can cut the end and hide the end and uh, yeah this is the rest of ball so you can create small pom-poms or tassels from it and okay I will measure my shawl so this is the last row a row with double crochet stitches and it's really long <laughs> This is the end of my tape measure. <laughs> so it has 170 centimeters, 66 inches. Perfect. And uh, the height is, uh, I will measure it in the middle. From the middle corner, the corner where we started, and it has 85 centimeters, 33 inches. And let's measure the shorter side from the corner to the corner in the middle, and it has 155 centimeters 49 inches and this is it my crochet friends and this is also the end of my video tutorial i would like to thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial as much as i enjoyed making this video tutorial for you in case of any questions please put the comment in the box below this video tutorial 
You can reach me on my Facebook, Instagram or Pinterest. I'm always there and happy to help. So take care and wish you happy crocheting and bye for now. Bye bye.